Okay, now it's time for the best picture at the Oscars for 1983. So, let's start with the ones I've got. So this one, as it says, winner of eight Academy Awards. But was it best picture? So this is uh, Resha Atmara's Gandhi, a very epic film at nearly three hours. This is the 1990 release. The budget release, that's what's in really condition. So it's big. The second nomination is The Verdict, a legal drama where Paul Newman, as a Boston lawyer, has to take his face out of the shot glass for one last shot at redemption, take a medical negligence case against a powerful attorney. Then we have Tootsie with Dustin Hoffman. So that's a ma an actor who can't get any jobs, so then he dresses up as a woman to get a part in a soap opera, and hilarity ensues. Then we have Missing. A drama thriller that's about two hours long that stars Jack Lemmon and Sissy Spacek. When Charles Holman, an American journalist, goes missing, his concerned father and wife set off in search of him. However, their probe and nurse start truths about the government. Now, I've never even heard of that one. I've not seen it, so curious about that. And then finally, this was a shock. I never knew this was a thing. Uh, Steven Spielberg's E.T. was actually up for Best Picture of 1983. It's the 1982 release took, and this is the 1988 VHS, which because it took six years before it even came out in VHS. So there we go. And the winner is Gandhi. So yes, eight Academy Awards, and one of them is Best Picture. Uh, yeah, it's an epic, literally in all sense of the words. But is it any good? Who knows? Thanks for watching. Here end of the lesson.